Good morning, guys. It's the next day. Um, took a break from the lewd. I'm pretty much taking my time on just making sure everything is right because I haven't worked on the car in about two months. So some things are kind of, eh, I forgot how to do it, but I got it. So let me show you guys. Man, look at that. It's so clean. I really don't even want to use this because it's so nice. <laughs> so that's the new valves and the valve guide. The guide is the, um, the gold part. So far, the trickiest part of putting the head back together is putting the belt on because it's two belts. There's the timing belt. And then down there, I got a balance shaft belt and my manual tensioner. So I just wanted to make sure I got that done. Pretty much all I got left is just putting on the side, the exhaust or header, and the valve cover. But there's an extra step I got to do before I even put it all together. There's this thing called valve lashing which means I gotta do some adjustments within here with the camshafts. Pretty new stuff to me. A lot of stuff is new to me. I've been procrastinating on putting the head back together because I've been looking into valve adjustment and it looks pretty intimidating. <laughs> but let me give you guys an idea of what's going on. So I have a feeler gauge. This is to measure um, clearance and thickness. So pretty much I need to measure the space in here. What I'm going to do is stick this filler gauge into here and see if it clears it or not. And that's called a valve lash or adjustment because how I adjust the gapping right here is by adjusting this screw right here. So I got to get like a 10 millimeter socket or something to loosen it and use a screwdriver to adjust the uh, clearance and then I could tighten it down. On the hood right here, there is um, specifications on clearance. And pretty much I got to do it on each piston. The exhaust side has two on piston one and two on the intake. So that's pretty much 16 valves I got to adjust. This is what's prolonging my progress right now. And I probably don't need to do it right now. This is pretty much preventative maintenance. So pretty much um, if I don't adjust the valves, the same thing could happen again where the valves could overheat and crack or whatever. So by doing this valve adjustment, it's gonna make the car run a lot smoother and better. So if your car is pretty old, this is something that's recommended to do periodically. If you've never done it before, hit up your mechanic and see if he can do this for you because this is gonna make your car run a lot smoother. So according to the Honda manual, I gotta use 15 millimeter on the intake. The intake is over here. It's gonna be these two nuts right here that I need to check clearance for. So let's try it out. I'm gonna put it right in here. Feels like it doesn't fit. It's not even going in. Try the one over here. And yeah, this definitely feels too tight. I need to loosen it. Uh, so I've already come across my first problem. I loosened this right with a 10 millimeter socket. I see if I turn it, that screw is also turning inside. See? So pretty much I need a special tool that'll hold this nut in place while I turn this um, screwdriver right here. I'm thinking I could use like a pair of pliers and a flathead to make this adjustment. All right guys, I figured it out. Check this out. <sighs> so here's the filler gauge. And yo, it goes in there pretty nicely. Oh shoot. So see, it goes in now and it has a little bit of drag. You don't want it too tight or too loose. And I was able to do this with um, long needle nose pliers, a flat head, and I torque it down with a torque wrench. Now I got 14 more to go. Yeah. All right, let me finish this thing. All right, so I just did the last one. Check this out. Yeah. A little bit of drag. Yeah. If anything, it's better than what it was before. Because <clears throat> before, all of them were super tight and I couldn't even get the filler gauge within the lobes. So what's left is just putting the engine mount back on, valve cover, fuel rail, all this stuff over here, and the exhaust manifold. And then we're finally ready for our first attempt at turning over the engine. Yeah! Woo! Unfortunately, it's not ready. <laughs> it's kind of late and I'm gonna just go ahead and end it 
right here for today because I've been on this for about about six hours and you know I need a break I'm about to head over to the gym but let me tell you what's up so I got three issues all right one issue is that wire see that green and black wire down there the plug had ripped off so I can't connect that that plug is for the radiator fan and I don't really need it but I'd like to have it connected and you know just keeping everything running smooth you know the second issue is i'm missing one of these bolts to hold down the valve cover this one's missing <sighs> see i got the screw right there but i'm missing this one right here and issue number three i'm missing this bolt and washer that holds down this uh fuel line so yeah man i was super ready to get the lube running today today was nice and sunny but uh, as usual, when you're working on cars, things usually don't go the way you planned it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll get some rest tonight and tomorrow after work, hopefully I'm not too tired. Um, I'll be able to get the lewd running. Uh, I'll keep y'all posted. Yeah, yeah.